Hi guys, Dave out in Western Pennsylvania. I'm developing bench scale thermoelectric generation TEG. I'll start off by showing you the open voltage. I'm over 4 volts. The way I'm doing this, I'm using a thermoelectric generator TEG. You can get them from eBay or Amazon. On eBay, I, I get them as cheap as $2.50 each USD plus postage. Very reasonable. Um, before using it, you see the leads attached. Before using it, the numbered side, I apply a very even coating. I'm not using this one today, it's for demo, of a heat sink compound. And I get this on eBay too. It's in a syringe, very easy to apply. Give it a good coating on the side you're going to heat. I would not use direct flame. Uh, if you go above 250 degrees Celsius, you're going to burn it out. They say you can hit 250. Uh, for short periods of time. I am right now in this setup I'll show you in a minute. Where am I? 135? Yep, Celsius. I use a water-cooled aluminum block. People with computers know these for cooling CPUs and hardware. So it's a water-cooled aluminum block. I also get them on eBay. You can get one uh, with about one and a half times the length and I have one of those too. If you want to hook up two of these in series or uh, parallel. We're at 4.09 volts. I'm running water through with an AC pump and uh, ice water. The pump of course is submerged in there. You can get DC, you can use DC pumps too if you want to use uh, photovoltaic. Sometimes I use a power inverter and I charge up 12 volt with my solar panels so I can use uh, free energy for uh, pumping water through. That's the key to keep that differential there between the heated side, the Seebeck effect, and uh, the cooled side. This works very nice. Now what am I heating? I have an aluminum pan, nothing fancy, with silicon oil. I use silicon oil you can use glycerin, glycerol if you have to. Make sure it's kind of dry, you're going to have a lot of water vapor generated. And uh, I wouldn't go above 180 with the glycerol. Stay around there. Now, right now, I'm at 135, as I said, with ice water being pumped through. So if that's at zero, I've got a temperature differential of 136 degrees right now Celsius, plus or minus one degree. I have the TEG on a small once again, a unit from a computer, uh, a cooling block, aluminum block with fins, that's immersed in the oil. And the leads are running out to the uh, multimeter. I'm at 4.1 vo uh, volts, which is excellent because my goal is to charge up 3.7 lithium ion rechargeable batteries. 3.7 uh, volts, so I'm there with one unit. Hey, let me show you a short circuit. So let me pull that out with one hand and put that into 10A. Let's see what we get. Man, I'm just under 1 volt, 960 milliamps. So we're drawing that magic number, 1 volt. And if I go back, let me go back to open. If I am over 3.7 volts, I'm going to be able to charge up 4.11. I'm going to be able to charge up uh, the lithium batteries. Now, I'm using Bunsen burner right now. As I said, you can use bioethanol, biodiesel, wax, beef tallow. And this is a real nice little setup, which I will show to my students. I'm a chemistry professor with a university in Western PA, USA. So try your hand at it. See how you do. And uh, it's a very good way to get people involved with TEG. But as I said, I suggest that you not heat it directly or you'll burn it out. And I leave you right now at 4.17 volts, open voltage. And uh, let's give you a final current short circuit. We're at 0.97, 0.98. Almost an amp. Hey, thanks for watching. And uh, bye for now.